Hey everybody, Frank and Carrie. Hey. Your uh... favorite. Ah, I don't know about <laughs> that. Uh, we're just a DIY couple. We bought an old abandoned mansion and we're fixing it up. We are. She was in pretty bad shape when we got her, but she's she's turned it into the jewel that she is. There's a, sometimes it's more work than, uh, <laughs> than we think. Sometimes, yeah. like right now, we're kind of working in the yard maybe digging a water line maybe maybe it's not going as easy as you see on the youtubes but uh <laughs> we will persevere <laughs> anyway we're uh, back for another video yeah this week's video we are back into the the uh breakfast no powder room powder area room. Yeah, yeah we're back in the powder room area and the back hallway we call it yes and we are beginning it was to... option four yes yes it was but we're starting to put the floor in what yes this why week... would we oh we probably explain why yes this okay. week is is a lot of talking. a lot of talking but we come up with a plan so and having a plan is pretty important <laughs> so enjoy the video and uh this video uh, will be around sometime. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, babe, what you doing over there? <clears throat> we have to put a floor in. Oh, you're tired of the sunken uh, powder room? Well, I'm tired of something. <laughs> it's more of a safety thing. True. Um, we can't find insurance on this place and we tried to make this where if somebody breaks in they won't break fall their and break their neck but right putting a floor in might help yeah it might we're scrapping something that we want to do which is put the dormers back on yes and We'll do this to keep people safe. Yeah. We have to do what we have to do. So we did on this on this one where Kitten is at. We did put at least a, a railing there. On this one, we closed off the we put railings on the on the access to this area. Because that's the only way that you could get to that area. But so it's, it's just it'll take It'll take a week, and then we won't have to worry about it. Right. Seven days of doing flooring makes one week. <laughs> yes. Um, these doors obviously aren't for the basement because they're taller than the floor. <laughs> they're taller than the floor, and they're really heavy. Yeah. The, that was the powder room door that sure. we lowered up here right and then that was a closet that was the door this door right here that was the one that was laying down i'm gonna start taking brick out so we can have a see what kind of a ledge we have to put the band joist on take all that brick off there right here that that yes, ma'am okay to I back the ledge okay back to where kitten's sitting that far yep. back okay maybe even we might just leave the arch, but take some of that brick off. Arches. Once we get the floor in, we can open a door we've never opened before. Yep. Well, in the breakfast room door. Two of them. Two of them. This door to, leads to the breakfast room. And the swinging door that goes into the to front Entryway, foyer. yeah. We've never opened We've them. never opened them and never have walked through them, but... They were basically doors to nowhere. And the floor was so rotten underneath the swinging door. It was crazy. Oh, there. But I thought you said these were heavy. I did. Oh, maybe they are. Yeah. Um, they're not, they're definitely not light. Those are very solid doors. Yeah. What are you doing up there, kitten? What you doing? Are you watching? You gotta wash your face first. Okay. 
Are you planning on putting the floor joists in just like they were before? Don't know. Well, I, I guess... Are they going to put 16 foot across this way or 14 foot across this way? Depends on what I can get. It just depends on if I move up, if I take all that brick down. Now, these over on this side that were, what, 20, 20 feet long on the, this side, those would About go... 18. 18, we would so do... So I'm going to break it up here. I'm going to... Right. At the end of... I'm going to put a beam across this part right there and then do a 6-foot joist and a 14-foot joist if I do it that way. Okay. If not, I'll have to put something there and go 8-foot across with joists. All the, all the way? Well, across that. Just that part right there? Yeah. Okay. But I'm not going to go 18 feet. No. Because that's too far. Well, well, yeah. Even that true dimensional heart pine couldn't handle the weight for that. Plus, well, with termites and... It was and, in there and it lasted... <laughs> yeah, termites and water helped it along. So, it would have been fine had it not gotten wet, I guess. But that, that wood and what's available now are two different things. Ah, there's the end of the... See, this is the reason why I'm not terribly worried about termites getting to the third floor anymore. They use all kinds of this wood on in their way up. I mean, everywhere you see, like right here, where it's missing the wood, they use that for food on their way up. They've used it all up. That's true. <laughs> there is no more wood in the bricks. <laughs> it's rotted right. and been eaten up. So they can't, they can't replicate the journey anymore. It's just, they can't get there anymore. That's why... <laughs> And they're, they're pretty not worried about treating for termites on the third floor. They cannot get there. Yeah, well, they're subterranean termites, but they were dry woodland termites or something like that. Then there's a possibility, but we don't have these around here. So, once we get all this wood out of here, which is not there's not a lot left. Just the stuff that was tucked in. Yeah. They're just, they're, they're not interested in that stuff anymore. They, uh -uh. it got too wet for them, I think. So we'll fill these cavities with brick to support this gigantic, this goes up uh, 40 feet in the air. Yeah. That corner is the corner of the house. Correct. So I'd like to support it. Yes. It needs some support. It's... I don't know, Ben. I want a floor here so I can... Work on work that. On right. Now, the foundation underneath is... It, it's perfect. There's nothing wrong with... With these limestone... I mean, it's just perfect. The brick, on, a, on the other hand, has had some water issues for many years. Seen better days. Yeah. This whole this whole corner is a mess. However, we'll get to it. But he's pulling. You can see that wood that's stuck in those little pockets. That's what he's <laughs> digging out. wondering this brick isn't holding anything up it's just superfluous 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 yeah superfluous I think is how you pronounce it <clears throat> it was just 
blocking in between these joists that came out of here. The joists. But we're going to change all that. That's right. No more superfluous brick. We're going to make it look like a modern basement if you look up under the floor. One thing good about lime mortar, sure is a lot easier to get the bricks out. True. Even if they're set really well. Because it doesn't stick to the brick like cement mortar. No termites left in this stuff. No. I don't think termites ever were in this. Probably not. This just rotted. Yeah. Well, this area had water dumped on it for years. More than four. I said, oh, yeah, it's true. Four, oh, not four, four years, just four years. Right. Four different spells. Yes. No, you. With all the snakes around us, <laughs> said about, what are you doing sticking your hand in there? We've had a, we have a few snakes running around, but. We've only seen their skin. We've only seen a live one once. And that was right after we got her. You can hear the, how much weight is on this brick because it goes, makes a different sound. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we'll not, we'll not knock this one out from under. No. Right, kitten? Alrighty, that's what I needed answers for. You got your ledge. So, I'm going to go too wide here, across to there, fourteens across here, Okay. and sixes from this to there. Okay. Are you creating another ledge over over there? Nope. That's I'm not going to have to create a ledge over there now. Okay. We are going to finish taking this ledge out over on this side. Yes. Now I got to get that. It's always some. Yes, it is. Always something. But now we have a plan. One major thing we've got to figure out is where's the floor? Because <laughs> I've got to build the floor joist even with where the floor is going to be. So we might have to come off that in there or... You can kind of see where the floor is in the breakfast room. We never took that one board out that goes along. I bet in that doorway is where it's been this, forever. This doorway right here? Yep. Yeah. This leads into um, just to give you reference, this is goes into the breakfast room, and there's the butler's pantry back here. I don't know that this flooring is where it's supposed to be anymore. That's true. I think you're right. On this brick wall by this door, this is a brick wall right in here. That's probably where it's supposed to be. They're all brick walls on the basement. I know it. What about the flooring in there, in the breakfast room door? Do you think that's where it's supposed to be? <clears throat> Probably. Now, I wouldn't trust the flooring in that one over there because that was... But how are we going to level it with that? I don't know. That's the problem. Mm. I guess we could open that door and level it with the foyer, the front room. We could. But then that door will be open. 
Well, Sounds okay. dangerous. Frank's making some good progress. Yay, progress. We like progress. Tearing stuff down. That's progress? Yeah, because it's got to come down so we can put it oh, back up. Oh, yeah. Story of our life, Gary Lou. Yeah, I know. Got to make it. Progress up. means tearing stuff down. Hmm. Mm. Well, for us. else that's applicable. <laughs> Just. Well, like when you're cleaning the house, it gets worse before it gets better. You could tell in this area that they weren't terribly worried about termites. Because the, uh, they have this two by, I think it's a two by six, just sandwiched in between the, the bricks and mortar. And it just kind of, when the, I mean, I know the water wasn't supposed to be in here, but when the water did get in here, it had nowhere to go but to get soaked up by this two by six going through here. So once this two by six started swelling from moisture, it pushed a whole bunch of these out. And it's always something, but like we've said countless times, this was the worst area of the house. So, this is the worst area of the house. We're excited to be getting it close. This side seems to be a little easier. Well, it is. Put all this brick loose. Because it's not hooked to any brick in the wall. It's hooked, I mean, it's not hooked to, but this two by six thingy. Was in there. Probably as a nailer for the floor, but still. But this is going to be a really nice ledge. Yeah. To put uh, my 2 built 12 on. Are you putting it double on this side too? Are you putting it double all the way around? No. I mean, it'll be, this is just one joist. Right. So it doesn't even... It'll just be one joist. Okay. It does, this isn't a beam or nothing, or this oh. isn't a band or anything. It's just a, just a joist going across. Are these over here? Is this going to be double on this side? I think I'm going to double that. Yes. Okay. So this one, this one on this side will be double, and then that one over there by that. Yes, the band joists, the ones on the ends of the joists that the joists is, is okay are connected to. Okay. Are going to be doubled. Okay. That's my intent right now. <laughs> Which shouldn't be by big deal. No. Even if it isn't required, it's 25 bucks extra. Yeah. I would... I don't mind $25 of extra insurance. Well, it's either $25 of extra insurance or $25 worth of termite food. <laughs> 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 but there's not going to be... We're going to do some termite proofing. Yeah. I'm going to uh, put flashing behind it. 
yeah. aluminum or galvanized flashing behind it. Are we are we putting treated down here? That's no. That's I'm gonna use galvanized flashing behind it. They can't chew through metal. Okay. In theory. It's an interesting thing here with the uh, the wall. You see where their nailer was so all these bricks settled boom except for this row which is the ones that are sideways and go to the next course of brick so all these bricks in this area fell down but that's why they alternate rows there see all the way across this row since it is sideways and lengthwise, it's still holding good. So it's just really this inside course of bricks that uh, needs a little bit of maintenance. I want to mess with this stuff. Yeah. But it's going to be easier with the floor. So I yes. keep telling myself, patience, break, patience. Yes. That's what this house requires. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a patient for the doctors. Yeah. We're the house doctors. Well, we're Miss, Miss Moreland's doctor. Maybe a plastic surgeon. Uh, well, no, no, this is no, so. this is, yeah. This isn't just a facelift. This is a... Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. But you can tell that we'll be able to get a floor in here pretty easy. Yeah. It's going to be nice. The nice, the nice ledge. A little bit of a cleanup down there. It is exciting. Not glamorous, but exciting. Mia, are you being my helper today? Oh, you don't even know when I'm trying to sleep.